normally uh, the response I give is I'm running away from the police. No, I, I uh, left Australia 15 years ago. I used to work for an oil company and travelled with my family as part of that job around the world, different countries. We were living in Bangalore in India and I thought I really don't want to do this like for the rest of my life. So we made a decision to stop doing that and to start a brewery. I made the decision, my, my wife said yes, because she's nice. Then a friend of mine, he said, did you come and look at this building? So it was an, a very old, falling apart, uh, in need of a lot of repair, uh, dairy, uh, which was a big part of uh, the town uh, where we are. Uh, so for about more than 100 years, they had this dairy. Um, uh, and then it closed after independence, uh, and then it was empty for a long time. Uh, so we then came along as a bit like a, a science fiction uh, scenario because we walked in and it was like nothing had happened for seven years. Like the cup of tea was half full and the pen was half uh, uh, finished writing an order or something. Bizarrely, the phone book was open to my uh, uh, my house address in this town. When I looked at the phone, I looked up, that's my address. So that was all a bit eerie. And uh, yeah, we got all these visitors who came along who said, yeah, my grandfather used to work here, my, uh, my uncle used to work here, I used to work here. And we had a couple of people who came to take some equipment away who were born in the building, because there's an apartment upstairs. Um, the, uh, the soul of the building, um, again, I think that's maybe an Australian thing. It's a cultural difference. Slovenians are typically, not all Slovenians obviously, but would be far more interested in a new building. Or, or if they were running a business like this, you would normally go and build something new, shiny, and and uh, fitted out from IKEA, maybe. Um, I don't know. As an Australian, maybe we have a bit more of a fascination with old buildings because we don't have so many old buildings in Australia. Um, so I like old buildings, and I like the fact that it's falling down, um, and uh, that there's all these sort of little rooms that you just discover uh, and find out what, what was uh, what they were used for. Um, so I like the soul of the building. It has a lot of um, history for the town. And I think, we've been, well, we've been told that, that the local people here are very happy that the lights are on and something is going on. Um, we open the loading dock on like a Friday afternoon and people come in and drink a couple of beers. And it's nice. We try to be um, Vrtnika's Brewery. Vrtnika is the name of the town. So we try to be, you know, we, we would like Vrtnika to be proud that they have a little brewery that works and, and I don't know maybe they are I, I sometimes think like if I stop now what would I what would I think about what I've done you can have an impact on the culture of a maybe not a country but a city or a, yeah, a country uh, when we came here the biggest beer pub in Dublana had about 12 or 15 different beers in it uh, now you have beer pubs in Ljubljana with 150 beers in it. So that's a cool thing, I think, um, that if we stopped today and walked away and came back in 10 years' time, those pubs might have 350 beers, and maybe we had something to do with that. <laughs>